Hey, what's up? People Piz out here. And today I want to talk to you guys about 2019's Lords of Chaos. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this Blu-ray release. And Lords of Chaos is all about the infamous Norwegian black metal band Mayhem. Now, I'm not a fan of black metal. However, I've been fascinated with the story of Mayhem for many, many years. And in a nutshell, the story of Mayhem all starts with a young man in Oslo, Norway named Oystein. He adopts the stage name of Euronymous. He puts a band together, they rehearse, they eventually create this sound known as Norwegian black metal. They cultivate a very loyal following of fans and they create the Norwegian black metal scene. However, soon the Norwegian black metal scene, aside from the music, begins to include things like suicide, murders, and church burnings. The lead singer of the band committed suicide. Euronymous discovered his body, but instead of calling 911, he ran out, bought a disposable camera, and took pictures of the body. And one of those pictures ended up on one of their album covers. He allegedly ate part of the singer's brain. He crafted necklaces made of skull fragments from the singer and gave them to the band, and they all wore these necklaces made of the singer's skull fragments. Um, they started burning churches because they were anti-Christian and they did not like the way that Christianity had come into Norway and taken over. And eventually there was a power struggle within the band that led the guitarist Varg to murder Euronymous. Varg went to prison for 20 something years. He got released. Now he has his own YouTube channel with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Now, the movie Lords of Chaos tells this story in what I'm sure is a highly uh, dramatized fashion. Actually, the title card of the film reads, Based on Truth, Lies, and <laughs> Everything in Between. Rory Culkin stars in Lords of Chaos as Euronymous, and the movie kind of makes it seem as if Euronymous, who was the leader of this black metal uh, scene and was saying, you know, we need to burn down churches and we need to do all this evil stuff, his heart really wasn't in that. He really just wanted to make really dark, evil music and kind of be a poser, to be perfectly honest. He was the thing that he ostensibly hated the worst, and that is a poser. However, he gets so deeply entrenched in the scene that pretty soon it's impossible for him to claw his way out. All of the performances in Lords of Chaos are pretty good. Roy Culkin gives a great performance. The only performance that I didn't really care for was the gentleman who played Varg Vikernes. I just didn't buy his performance. Movies directed by Jonas Ackerland, and it's a great looking movie. There's lots of stylish shots. There's lots of stylish editing. Uh, the music in the film is really good. I believe the music in the film is from Sugar Raz. Um, my only real qualm with Lords of Chaos has to do with the movie's tone, or it's lack thereof. For instance, we'll have these very kind of coming of age type moments where the band, they're all together, they're partying, they're living it up, they're playing their music. It, it, it's, it's a great time. And then a second later, we're watching someone get brutally stabbed to death, or we're watching the lead singer in very, very graphic detail, take his own life. And because of the movie's toneless nature, it feels kind of choppy to me. It feels like the movie's trying to find its footing, but it just doesn't succeed at it. So instead of a fully fleshed out narrative here, it just feels kind of like scenes more or less thrown together. Um, and there's no connecting tissue between the scenes. Overall, I enjoyed Lords of Chaos, but I think that's mostly because I've been fascinated with the, tr the story of Mayhem for many, many years. If you're a fan of black metal, if you're a fan of Mayhem, if you are fascinated by the story of Mayhem, you should definitely check out Lords of Chaos. If not, this is a movie I think you can easily skip. Now, as for this Blu-ray release from Unobstructed View, we've got a very nice slipcase here. For the film, uh, the words Lords of Chaos are raised. It's got this kind of black matte kind of finish on it that looks really cool, I think. Uh, this is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and this release is the Uncensored Director's Cut Limited Edition DVD and Blu-ray combo. As for the picture quality and the sound quality, they both were fantastic on this release. I'd give them both solid fours out of fives. As for the extras, we just get a bunch of trailers, and that's really it. Lords of Chaos definitely isn't for everybody. If you're a fan of black metal or a fan of mayhem or someone who's been fascinated by the story of mayhem, as I have been, definitely look into picking up this Blu-ray and checking it out. It'd be a nice addition to your collection. Otherwise, I think you can skip. 
Lords of Chaos. If you've seen Lords of Chaos, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the Abuck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Alan Scott, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dixon, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Parsons, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, and Jason Breitenbeck. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.